BFN has been blowing my mind for almost two weeks, and I've been loving playing so many maps. Here are 10 maps that you have got to go and play right now. Well, maybe not this one. Our first map is called Cyber Rush. I mean, this feels like you're in the middle of a movie. It's absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, this is wild. I mean, I know like the cars aren't actually moving, but it feels like you are. Like the animations and everything around you are kind of intense so that it makes it feel like you're moving. And it just kind of feels wild. Woo, I love the swinging around on this. Now, this is quite challenging. I died a lot. Ah, this is so hard. Oh! Once I got used to it, it was really fun. Oh, what the heck is going on? This is crazy. Oh, oh, I love that little animation there. And these guys like coming up beside us. That's kind of wild. Good thing they're terrible shots. And I'm a terrible shot too. So I can't really say anything. Oh, we're jumping in between cars now. Like this is just wild. I really love this. Oh, this is kind of challenging though. I'm not going to lie. I've died so much. Oh, we got this long jump. Okay, we made it. Whoa, that was it. That was insane. Okay, this is uh, Chess in Creative 2.0. There's my opponent. It's their turn, so I gotta wait for them. Look at the floating pieces around. That is so cool. I'm having trouble moving my guy. Oh, there we go. I can move right there. Nice. Dude, this is awesome. I love the like custom music too. It's a little loud, but other than that, I think it's awesome. Let's see if I can beat this guy. I was actually so impressed with this map. Like it shows you where your guy can go, and when you get the person in check, it tells them that they're in check, and they can only move like this works perfectly. Oh, I got him in check, guys. My bishop right here can take out his king. The only move he has is to move his queen there. And then I'll take out his queen. It's a sacrifice of my bishop, but it's worth it. I found myself really getting sucked into the game. And even though I made some mistakes... Oh, no, I went in the wrong spot. I meant to go in the white spot. I'm an idiot. I eventually got him in checkmate. All right, here we go. This is checkmate, I believe. Black one, checkmate. Woo! First game of chess in Fortnite 1. This is called Loop Room. It's a horror map, I think. I don't know anything about it. Let's go. We're gonna go through the door, I think. Oh, oh. That was an awesome animation. I love the like fuzzy look of everything. It just makes it feel really creepy. So far, it's just creepy corridors. Okay, there's a eerie red light. I don't know if I'm ready for this. We're gonna go. <gasps> what was that? That was awesome. And we're back in our room. Wait, we gotta go through the door. Okay, yeah, I get it. Loop room. <laughs> that's what it was. I just kept walking through the same room over and over, waiting for something to change. And, and at first I thought that's all it was until this. I'm not. Oh my gosh, what was that? That scared me so bad. Okay, it's not just one level. I guess we just keep going through the loop. Oh, that pitchfork is still there, okay. Oh, I'm terrified. What? What? I don't like that. <laughs> At least the loop is changing. That lady's still shaking there. And let's see what else changes here. Whoa. Whoa. What's happening back here? Let's go. Uh, I can't I can't go in there. Okay. What is this place? Oh my gosh. What? Okay. Why is everything so jump scary? I guess it is a scary map. Going through the loops. Just keep going through the loops. And so I kept going through and things changed, even turning all of the lights red. It was very creepy. And then the loop changed. Oh, <gasps> something's happening. Whoa. 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 What? Okay, did we go to heaven? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, loop room. Oh, that's it. Cool, we got like a credit screen. Oh, that's really interesting. Here, you can go follow the creator. This map is called Fortnite Rats Free For All. It's made by my friend Squatting Dog. He actually invited me in to show me a personal tour of the map. I love this water. Oh my gosh, that like water effect is really cool. There's all sorts of insane interactable things like right here, I got chewed up by a garbage disposal and you can see how everything's floating on there. Like this is all really well done. And this is Squatting Dog's first map. He's never really touched creative before, so I am so impressed. They made this interactable map where you could go in and have fun playing against other people. And then this was really cool to me. And then we have two people in our community. Their kids drew these uh, Victory Royale posters on oh, the fridge. Oh, I love that. That and, is a uh, great way to incorporate the community. There's just so many cool things you can do with UEFN now that were just impossible before. And you don't have to be a pro. Squatting Dog was not a pro, but he made an insane map. And, well, just check this out. <laughs> This map doesn't have a code that I can find at all, but I just wanted to show you this. I saw this video on Twitter of this just really super hyper-realistic city and they're driving around it on a motorcycle. And just look at how cool these buildings feel, all of the trees, everything just feels so magical. I just can't really even fathom that this is Fortnite anymore. Like, we're just entering a new age where everything we see, I'm just gonna be like, I, I don't know, just like completely blown away. I mean, is this really Fortnite? Guys, this is not Fortnite anymore. This is like real life simulator. This map 
app is called Table Prop Hunt, and guys, I am so impressed with the animations on Peely on this one, and then just how beautiful this map feels. Running around the little toy houses, there's so many cool different things you can look at, and of course, I had to hide as Peely. No one will ever know what I am. Yeah, people uh, didn't know where I was, and well, until they did. Whoa. Ah, he got me. <laughs> Seriously though, prop hunts are so fun, and I feel like the UEFN experience is going to make it just so much better. Okay, this is Dumb Blonde's parkour here. This looks pretty cool. I feel like it's gonna be a pretty easy map because this was her first attempt to really figure out UEFN, and she's an incredible map maker, so I'm really excited just to see what she does with the new dumb ah! Everything looks incredible. I love that Model B right there, and I love the surroundings. Like, I can't wait to play Death Runs more in UEFN, and honestly, Honestly, guys, there's gonna be so many more possibilities with the different mechanics that we're given as well. I've already got some crazy ideas. Oh, wait a second. I wanna see this trap. Is it tra okay? It doesn't actually like animate. Okay, we're through level one, maybe? Oh, yeah, this is definitely a new level, not the different design. Okay, I've been through, I don't know, I'd probably say 20, 30 levels so far. Wait to see if there's like a different style later on. A nice, easy death run. If you're into like the default death runs, this is a good one for you. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, a new level. Ooh, I like this like uh, beachy theme. I mean, it just looks really cool. Cool. Like, uh, these maps don't have to look all super hyper-realistic. I feel like that's kind of the meta at the moment. People are trying to find things that look really different. And this looks very different. It's just in a different direction. It's more of like, I don't know, like a Nintendo vibe. And I'm a huge fan of Nintendo, so I love seeing it. Speaking of different, check out Beans and Party. This is an insane map where one of you is a sniper trying to find people that are hidden as beans. Mr. Beast! <laughs> First shot! No way! When you're not the sniper, you're down hiding from, well, the sniper. What would I be right now? Hopefully a banana. Yes! No! It was! <laughs> What's really interesting is that all of these beans are NPCs except for the players. And the NPCs just move around randomly. It's so cool. And honestly, I had so much fun playing this map. This map really shows off what you can do with terrain. I mean, look at these huge cliffs. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, yeah! Don't get... <laughs> No! Dang it! Now, I'd be lying to you if I said this was, like, the funnest map in the world because it was just a rager. I can't believe I can't get past... Like, I'm just falling off at the start, like, over and over again. It was a very challenging map, and to be honest, I didn't quite finish it. Oh, no! I jumped! Why did I jump? But if you got together with a bunch of friends and played through this, I think you guys would have a lot of fun. This map is straight out of fall, guys. Basically, just avoid getting knocked off, which is easier said than done. Fast! Wow! Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, oh, you're no. done. Because <laughs> not only do you have to avoid the spinner, but the floor falls out randomly as well. Good. I already got a hit. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh God. no! Dang it! But honestly, playing through a few rounds of this was insanely fun. And I love experiences like this in Fortnite. Oh no, that's a... Oh no! This is my true nightmare. I hate bananas and, well, this guy's terrifying. Neverty has done it again where you run around and watch out for his jump scares because they're real. Ah! Oh no! This one's a little bit more intense than his last horror map. You gotta run from Peely and him crawling through the events. What? Seriously, though, this map is really fun. You should go and play it. No, not a carrot! What maps have you guys been playing that you love? Let me know in the comments below.